Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. If you're new here, my name is Kate. So today I have rounded up all of my beauty favorites from 2020 and there were actually quite, quite, quite a few of new products and favorites that I found throughout last year that have been added to my routine that are now go-tos, holy grails, um, and that I just will probably forever keep in my makeup bag. So very excited to share them with you guys. I also have a few giveaways that are included in today's video. Some of my favorite brands from products that I'm sharing today have partnered up with me to give you guys some goodies. So stay tuned throughout the video to get the details on the giveaway rules and how to enter and to see what is up for grabs. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and share with you guys what I loved throughout 2020. I always stump myself when I start my favorites videos because I never know what I want to kick the video off with because there's so many good things that I wanna share with you guys. But I feel like this one is just calling my name and a must to share first. And it is the Too Faced Natural Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like I talked about this so much throughout the year. I was so excited when I got my hands on this and the number of times that I used this throughout 2020 is insane. This is hands down my most used eyeshadow palette and I feel like it's pretty easy to see why. This is seriously just such a beautiful eyeshadow palette filled with everyday super wearable nudes and neutrals and natural colors. And I just found myself grabbing for this regularly. I'm very much drawn to these warm, pretty shades. I loved the variety of mattes and shimmers in here and the colors are just beautiful. You could create so many looks with these as I did throughout the entire year. And this was a palette for me that I could very easily just throw in my bag if I did any traveling, which let's be real was limited throughout 2020, but any little bit of traveling I did, this came with me. And there were a few times where this was the only eyeshadow palette that I packed. And that is saying a lot for me. I, I'm usually like a three to four palette kind of girl. I like having options and I don't know, I've never really had one single palette that I felt like really encompassed all of the shades that I would want when I'm out of town and I don't have my makeup drawers available to me. So this palette is $45, well, well worth it. I'm gonna continue to use this into 2021. Like let's be real, but definitely my favorite and hands down most used eyeshadow palette of 2020. The next product that was easily a favorite of mine is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. These are drugstore and only $8. They come in a variety of shades and colors. Some have a little bit more shimmer in them. Some are more creamy and um, not matte, but they're shimmerless and I love the formula of these so much. They have hyaluronic acid in them, so they are so hydrating and they help plump a little bit, but you don't necessarily have that overpowering tingle with these. I think the packaging is just so pretty and Maybelline really stepped it up with this. It looks super luxe and the finish is just again, so good. I love the applicator on it. It has a really large doe foot and let's just add some because I actually don't have any on. It's not sticky at all. It's just literally like quenching my lips. It is so hydrating. So cannot recommend these enough. This particular one has been my favorite shade and it's brass, which is number 11. Um, it's a, I'll just go ahead and swatch it for you guys, but it's kind of like a, it's just a gorgeous pink with some gold shimmer flex throughout. And I just love the tone of this. It looks really good alone if you want more of a natural look, but gives a like slight little bit of color and it's beautiful layered over lipsticks and I don't feel like it's too much or overpowering. So these are like 15 out of 10 for me. I love them. They're truly one of my favorite lip glosses that I've ever tried. So. You guys, I will link them below. You gotta check these out. You gotta pick up at least one, at least one if you haven't yet. So next up, I have a skincare product and this is the Makeup Melt Away Balm by Pharmacy. This particular one is a limited edition and it's in a like cherry um, sort of scent. It's very cherry clean, but um, their original one is the green clean and it's the same exact thing. 
I love this stuff so much. When you open it, you can see how much I've used this. It comes with a little scooper and then um, you can very easily just get the product out, apply it to your hands and it starts to turn into this like balm formula basically. So it looks, you know, like a solid, but once you start to warm it up, then the product starts to get a little bit liquidy and it literally just melts all of your makeup off. It really does a good job of getting everything cleansed and off of your skin. I really love the formula of this and the texture. It leaves my skin feeling just super clean and it gets off mascara, like the toughest makeup it's gotten off for me like very, very easily and it's just super gentle. So cannot recommend this enough. And I do double cleanse, so just to give you guys some context, this is a product that I would start off with first to get that first round of makeup off and then I would follow up with like a regular gel um, or cream sort of cleanser and do my second round of cleansing. So if you're into double cleansing or haven't tried it yet and want to, like this would be a great product to kind of kick things off with or try. Um, but again, the one that I'm gonna link is going to look different because this one is just a limited edition scent, um, but same exact product and it's a dream. Next up, I have my Holy Grail mascara that I found in 2020 and it came at like the most random time when I was least expecting it. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. I actually am just about out of this and I went ahead and repurchased it last night. So hopefully it will be here, like a fresh new tube in the next couple of days, but I am wearing it today. So I have it on my top and bottom lashes now. And you guys know if you've watched some of my other favorites or just follow along with me on Instagram, I love this mascara. I am so obsessed. It is my favorite. I've never loved a luxe or prestige brand mascara so much. Um, and here's the brush just so you guys can see. I really love it. It's like this diamond shape um, and it can go flat and it has like these short little bristles that just really, really hook your lashes and coat them. And it truly does lift. Um, I've said this before, so I won't go into too much like detail on this, but one of the things that I loved about this and that kind of hooked me on it is seeing myself in a photo when I was wearing this. My lashes just looked unreal, like they had never looked before in a photo, just really, really defined and separated. And it looked like I had falsies on and I definitely don't wear those. So this mascara is so worth it. It is really, really beautiful. It's $29, which again is a splurge for me. I'm usually a very tried and true drugstore mascara kind of girl, but um, this is worth it. And so yeah, I'll continue to repurchase this. So this year I kind of switched up my makeup a little bit and how I apply it and what products I'm using. And I really do have these little sculpting or contour foundation sticks. I need to figure out like what their official name is. Um, but from Cosmakery to thank, these ended up being just such a go-to product of mine. Really kind of changed the way I do my makeup and I'm obsessed. At this point, I'm pretty sure I use this every single day, almost every time that I do my makeup. I absolutely love it. So it is this little contour stick here and I have the shade medium deep and it is the perfect color for me and my skin tone. It matches really, really well, summer and winter, all year round. The formula is just so creamy. It glides right on, it blends out like a dream and I have no problem setting this uh, with a powder foundation over top and my makeup looks flawless. It looks so good. And I've really stayed away from cream or liquid products to contour for a long time, I feel like, just because I haven't found something that really works and I like to set my face still, but this has been a game changer. Absolutely love these. Um, I also have a stick in their shade light that I use for highlighting or concealer really. And I'm actually wearing them both today. So I'm wearing this as my concealer and then I have this on as my contour. These have held up really well too. Like I still have so much product left um, for using this as much as I have. So for using the contour stick daily, like I have um, and having that much left, like definitely worth it. And there's a little kit or bundle that you can buy where you get two of these. So you can pick your contour shade and your concealer or highlight shade, and then you get a brush. And I've loved the brush that comes with it as well. It's beautiful. And Cosmakery is a brand that I do have a code with. Um, so if you guys are interested and wanna check 
them out. I will put that down below in the description box. It can save some money off. Next on the list, I found a new cleanser and I wouldn't say I'm like picky about cleansers, but I'm definitely kind of particular. I don't mind switching them up, but um, the way that my skin feels after I use a cleanser is just super important to me. So earlier in the year, I had the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Collection sent over to me and in the collection, the Creamy Gel Cleanser was included. And so this was one of the first products that I tried out and I fell in love with it, honestly, the first time that I used it, which usually for skincare items, like I just don't always know but I just love the formula of this, the texture of the cleanser, how it made my skin feel and left my skin feeling after I rinsed it off. Um, it just is so good. It just really left me impressed. And this is drugstore. I believe this is around $15. I am obsessed with the packaging and this is like a glass um, sort of bottle. So it's not plastic. It's like really nice, good quality. And so I like that. It definitely makes it feel luxe in my opinion. And aside from that, this is 100% vegan. It's cruelty free. I believe it is sulfate free. It says it's great for all skin types. And then it has vegan collagen and flower extracts in it as well. But this has a super nice light scent. I was gonna open the top, but knowing my luck, I'll end up messing up the the nozzle. It's great for travel as well because you can lock it in place and close it so it won't spill at all. I also have sensitive skin so using products that don't irritate my skin is also very important to me and this has just been really great and just really gentle and soft and it doesn't leave my skin feeling dried out at all. It just leaves my skin feeling very clean and refreshed and I love that. And I also really like that it's formulated without so many of those like bad nasty products that we don't want in our skincare or things that we're putting on our body. I didn't mention this at the beginning, but it is formulated without parabens, phthalate, SLS, or mineral oil as well. So I'm not sure 100% if this is considered clean, but overall, um, it's just a really great product if you are looking for a drugstore cleanser, something that is gentle and effective and comes without a lot of nasty ingredients, then definitely, definitely pick this up, check it out. Moving right along, I couldn't not share this with you guys. Ever since this was sent to me and I first tried it out, it has remained in my shower. Um, we have already gone through one bottle. I think this is the second one now. And then we have a third <laughs> that is a different scent that is uh, on its last leg too and getting ready to run out. But this is the JR Watkins Aromatherapy in Shower Mist. This is such a fun product and one that I just like wouldn't have thought to buy because I mainly didn't even know something like this existed, but it's genius. It's such a good idea and gives a very spa-like feel at home. Basically, how you would use this is when you're getting ready to take a shower right before you hop in and your shower is getting nice and steamy and hot, you would take this and spritz a couple sprays all around and it's going to put out this super nice aroma and basically like a room spray or room scent into the air. So while you're showering, it basically feels like you're in a spa and you have this magnificent scent just kind of floating around and hanging out in the bathroom with you. They have a few different scents and um, they each do a couple different things. I will tell you, I just feel like this this relaxes me so much and it's become habitual. Like I can't take a shower without spraying this, uh, whether it's the sleep one, which this has Minoy and sandalwood. It smells super beachy, just very light and relaxing or the awake one, which I think has bergamot and maybe a little bit of orange in it smells so so good my shower routine at this point is just not complete without this but my two favorite scents out of the three that they offer are definitely the sleep that i'm sharing here with you guys and then the awake which is in a green colored bottle um, and then the third one i think is a detox and that's in yellow but if you end up shopping and checking these out i would definitely recommend trying sleep or awake you will not be disappointed another 2020 favorite of mine is the daveness oil oil this product has seriously saved my hair so much and really transformed it. 
It is hands down the best hair oil I have ever used in my whole entire life. And it has the most amazing scent. It smells so good. I use this all of the time. If not every day, I would say at least three times a week. I use this and just run it through my hair. I use it after I've washed my hair. I run a couple drops through the mids to the ends. As you guys may have already heard me share before, my hair is naturally just really dry and it's coarse in texture. And I just need to add a little bit of moisture into it and oftentimes I just need to do a little bit of taming but as I'm sure you guys can relate there's so many oils out there that are really heavy and just make your hair look greasy or weigh it down and I hate that I don't like that at all this is the most lightweight oil and I feel like you can probably tell that too by like how easily it's moving around in the bottle um, whereas some hair oils that you get are just so thick. This isn't at all. I typically use two drops and my hair just soaks it right on up and just feels really nice and has that great scent in it, but it isn't weighed down at all and doesn't feel like I'm a grease ball. It is hands down just the best hair oil that you will ever use and you really can't go wrong with any of their products. I've shared this before in other videos and I won't rant on it too long, but definitely just check out the Davinus brand in general. Um, they're based out of Italy and they are just a really conscious brand too. I think that they are considered like a B Corp, which that classification um, basically means that they're really ethical when it comes to sustaining the environment and being eco-friendly. So if you're interested in that and want to support a brand like that, check them out and just read up on their stuff. It's really cool. And then we have a new little lip cream that I found that I cannot get enough of. This is by Fresh Beauty and it is their Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. And the name like just says it all. It really is petal soft. It hydrates the lips. I love the formula of this. A little goes a long way. You can see how much I've used. I typically just take a little on my finger, rub it on. I will use this morning and night. It's great for either. And it's not a sticky formula by any means. And it does have a nice fresh rose scent, which is one of my favorites. I love anything rose scented. I think it's so feminine and girly and just fresh. I've tried a lot of different lip lip masks, lip creams, and this by far in terms of like formula and stickiness is probably my favorite. There's some others that I do really like for different purposes, but as far as everyday grab on the go, like my lips need some help, this is what I'm definitely grabbing for and using, and I would totally, once I run out of it, repurchase it again. Kind of going into that, because it's the same brand and same sort of line, this is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. This is another product that I tried for the first time this year and has easily been become a fave. It has that same amazing rose scent and I just feel like the packaging on this is really luxe. It's a glass bottle. The formula of this is so rich and moisturizing and hydrating. To be quite honest with you guys, it's not a product that I use like every single day, but I use it probably two to three times a week as like a little extra pick me up to work in or I'll use it in the morning right before I do my face makeup if I'm feeling really dry and like I need some extra TLC. But it's 3.3 fluid ounces. I feel like it's a huge jar and with how little product you need to use to get that moisture and hydration and coat your face, like it's not a product that you'll go through super quickly, but it seriously is just the best pick me up and I just love the scent and the formula so, so much. I also feel like 2020 was the year of the slight brow evolution, if you will. I feel like I've been using the same sort of two products for the longest time and don't get me wrong, I have loved the two products that I've been using over the past couple of years, but I've just been ready to kind of branch out and switch up my look. I've shared earlier in the year that I really wanted to try to go for more of a natural-ish fluffy brow compared to how I have been filling them in. So I decided to pick up the brow micro filling pen from Benefit a few months ago and I'm so, so happy that I did. I have been loving this thing and I have it on my brows currently. This is what it looks like. I just love this little tool. It fills my brows in so well. It gives those hair-like strokes, which I think is so fun and really cool. It makes doing my brows super easy. And on days when I just want to spruce them up a little bit, and I, but I don't necessarily want a full filled in brow, 
this is really great. Or I can go over it more and I can get a fuller sort of look with it. I picked up the shade medium brown and this has been absolutely perfect. It matches up really well with my natural brow color and it's just been so fun to play around with something different, try different looks with my brows and have something that is very easy to use as well. I am about halfway through and sharing my 2020 beauty favorites with you guys. So I wanted to take a quick little intermission and give you guys the giveaway details for those of you that are interested. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to get to gift you all a couple things. And I appreciate so much the brands that have teamed up with me as well to give away some goodies. So there is going to be three giveaway bundles, which means there's going to be three winners. So you have a few different chances that you could potentially win and all you need to do is follow me on my Instagram, subscribe here on my channel, and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you wanna see from me in 2021. So I'm gonna put a little slide next of a breakdown of the three prizes and what's included in each. So next 2020 faves has to be my self tanning mousses from Mind Tan. I just discovered their brand this year. I had never tried them out and it was around August that they reached out and sent me over some of their products and I have just fallen in love. I love the formula of these, the color, the payoff, the tan that it leaves on my skin, just all of it. I've been super, super happy with and I feel like these are very affordable as well. So the first one that I tried out this year and fell in love with is the Super Dark Coconut Water and this is a one hour express mousse and that is I think why I have fallen in love with a lot of my tans products so much is that they offer a lot of express tan options, which means you only have to leave them on for as little as an hour, but can of course leave them on longer. For me, my routine, what I prefer currently, like that just works. I am over and past the days of sleeping in a self tanner. We have a brand new mattress, brand new bed that we got when we moved in, white sheets, and I'm just not comfortable with a self tanner all over my body when I sleep. Like I'm not getting a good night's sleep. So these one hour expresses have been an absolute lifesaver and game changer for me. The other one that I am head over heels for and cannot stop using is the Wonder Tan Self Tan Foam. This is another mousse and another one hour express, but you could of course leave it on longer. The color of both are absolutely gorgeous. There's just something about this one. I don't know if it's just like my personal skin tone or what that I love so much. It is so freaking pretty. It has a little bit of warmth to it, which it even says up here. It says skin nourishing, warm, super dark finish, but it's not orange. And I feel like just having that little bit of warmth in it truly is like the icing on the cake. It really makes it look like you just got back from a vacation in the Bahamas. The color is gorgeous. So this is probably my favorite of the two, but I do also truly love the coconut one as well and use this frequently too. I switch it up, but if I was only recommending one to you, I would definitely say grab this Wonder Tan. It is Wonderful. This is another brand that I do have a code for, so it's 25% off. I will put it down below and it also gets you a free mitt. Pretty sure with the code, it brings the self tanner and the mitt to under $30, which I personally think is just such a good deal. And then my Hot Tools got a major upgrade when I got this product in during the year. And this is the T3 Lucia ID flat iron. This flat iron is so bomb. It has really, really, really helped my hair so much. It gets it so much smoother and pressed and just like really soft and silky than my last one did, which I will say was T3 and I loved it. But then I tried this and I was like, oh my gosh, it just is such a game changer. There's a lot of really cool technology features on this and I have a full video with a review and everything and tutorial using this tool. So I'll include that down below if you guys wanna check that out so I won't ramble <laughs> about this. But it is a splurge, but one that is well worth it if you're a girl like me who has had to spend a lot of time on their hair over the years and has like curly, coarse, dry hair. 
this is it. You got to try this. And most of you know that I do have a code with T3. So I will put that down below when I link this too. So you guys can check that out. If you do any shopping with them, um, my code will take 20% off site-wide. Next on the list, this one kind of snuck up on me and crept its way into uh, my makeup faves and I wasn't expecting it, but I picked up the KKW Beauty lipstick um, Over Black Friday when it was on sale. It's like $10 and I just thought this shade it's pink one looked super gorgeous so for $10 I was like why not this looks so pretty and I am obsessed the color is so me, it's super pink, and the formula is just really creamy and hydrating and glides right on, so I do love that. But I was super impressed the first time that I used this. I really wasn't sure what to expect from the Kim Kardashian line. I hadn't used anything from them, so this is my first and only product that I've tried from KKW, but I would 1000% repurchase this again. Um, I just love the color so much. It's so pretty and just really goes with my skin tone and just, it's in the pink family that I love and always am grabbing for. Plus, I really like the packaging. I think it's really cute and um, it's minimal, but kind of looks like future-esque. I don't know, I'm into it. This is another product I also was not expecting to love, but quickly became a product I could not stop using. And it's the Dewy Set Setting Spray from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this, I use it today. I just think the scent is great. I think the formula is great. I love the way it makes my makeup look and I'm just here for it. The packaging is really pretty. There's just something about this product that I just have gravitated towards and really, really like. And as I mentioned, I. I just did not expect to like this product as much as I do. But at this point, it's kind of funny. I've been very tried and true to my all-nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. I've been out of that for like so long, weeks, and I've just been using this and I really haven't thought twice about it, which I feel like is saying a lot for how much I've loved the all-nighter spray. So definitely give this a try. I don't feel like it's too dewy. like. It doesn't make your face look oily or anything, but I do feel like it helps kind of give some life back into the skin and just adds a inner glow, if you will. So I got myself a new perfume in 2020, which is kind of funny to me because like, where were we going this year? Nowhere. So yes, I did get this to spritz it on myself to wear at home. But it was time, I've been using like the same scents over and over for way too long and I just needed a little pick me up and living in loungewear like we have, I just feel like I needed a little pick me up. Something to make me feel luxe and like, I'm still put together even in my sweatpants. So I ended up grabbing the Light De Joa by Armani. Um, I knew that I really liked the Aqua De Joa. That smells so nice. And then Chris has the Aqua De Jo by Armani. I don't know what it is about Armani scents, but I'm just very much drawn to them and I love them so much. One of the reasons I picked this up is because I knew I liked Armani perfumes. And this one in particular said that it had jasmine and gardenia notes in it. And I know that both of those two scents just wear really well on my skin. I can not tell you guys how many times I've tried perfumes that smell amazing, but they don't smell amazing on me. So I wanted something that was nice and light and feminine, uh, but still slightly clean smelling. So this checked off all of the boxes for me. It was $78. So while yes, that is a lot of money, um, I feel like it's well worth it and it's definitely priced accurately. I only do like one to two spritz, especially when I'm just around the house and it definitely stays and wears on my skin really well. And I don't feel like the scent falls off at all throughout the day, which is important to me, especially you know when I'm shelling out almost a hundred dollars. But the bottle of this is beautiful. The scent is really, really nice. So again, if you're kind of like me and are into like sort of girly, feminine, light scents that still have like a hint of clean to them, then I think you would really like this. 2020 was also the year that I got my hands on and tried out Bondi Boost, who I really didn't start hearing about until probably the beginning of the year. Uh, but I was super excited to work with them back over summer. And then I, of course, have continued using their products because I truly love them um, since then. So this is their HG conditioner and shampoo. This is supposed to help with hair growth. And the main reason why I love these two so much is because of how clean it leaves my hair and my scalp feeling. My hair and scalp just feel so revived and fresh and light and like detoxed after I use these two. And then 
in return because my scalp is so like freed up of any gunk that was on it. My hair looks so much more amazing after I blow it out. It feels healthier, it looks healthier, and it just wears a lot better throughout the week. So I'm a once a week wash my hair kind of girl. I know I shared both of these recently uh, in one of my favorites videos, but just to kind of recap in case you didn't see that, the hero ingredients in the shampoo and conditioner are peppermint, rosemary, and stinging nettle. And I will say like you can definitely feel the peppermint when you wash your hair with this. It has like a little tingle to it and it feels so good. I absolutely am obsessed with that aspect of it. And it's funny because now that I'm reading the back, it says made with signature peppermint and rosemary. It will have you coming back for more. That is so freaking true because it's really hard to like pass up on not using this when I'm washing my hair because of that feeling. Like I want that feeling. I want the zinc. It's just so nice. I'm super big on my hair care being paraben and sulfate free. So the fact that this is also silicone free, it's also vegan friendly and cruelty free, like all around just a win-win. And then you get so much product in here, you get 10.14 fluid ounces. So it's a lot. And I know Chris has been using both of these two and I feel like we still have a good amount in here. It's like to here still, so. We still, we still have a little bit more to go. But if you haven't checked out Bondi Boost, they're available at Ulta. So I will of course link everything down below, but they have a ton of really great products. Um, these just happen to be my two faves. All right, and then you guys had to know I was gonna include these. I literally, in one of my first favorites videos that I did with these said, these will be on my 2020 favorites. Like I, I knew instantly they were that good. So these are the Grande Pop and Grande Glow. One is a plumping highlight and one is a plumping blush. These are so beautiful. And I guess 2020 really was like the year of branching out and finding more liquid and cream products to use in my makeup. I am obsessed with both of these. They have such a beautiful finish. They look so good layered over top of any sort of makeup. Like even when you already have your face set, they are stunning, they're so beautiful and um, they blend out like a dream. I won't sit here and swatch all of them, um, but I'll show you guys the little doe foot applicator. It's really large and I love it. It makes applying it just super easy. Or if you're like me and like to be a little bit more subtle and building up your products, I really like putting it on the back of my hand and then taking a duo fiber brush to dip it and sort of like stipple it on to my cheeks to make sure it's like super blended and just goes on flawlessly. But this has been my favorite shade. This is in Sweet Peach. Again, as I mentioned, just in that peachy pink color family that I'm always grabbing for and love, as I'm sure you guys have noticed. But this was definitely my most used. There's a couple other colors too, which I will show you guys. There's four other colors as well. So we have a tiramisu, mopsicle, pink uh, macaroon, and then sugar cinnamon. So here is what they look like. These are the other four, and then you have the peachy pink one as well. They also have, because of the plumping feature, a little bit of a tingle to them, which I love. It feels kind of cooling and just really nice and refreshing, but keep that in mind if you are not into that feeling on your face. And then as for the highlight, it has the same sort of doe foot applicator, and I like to apply it the same way as I mentioned for the blush. The shade that I love the most is French Pearl. That's what I've personally been using like on my skin. Um, however, there are two other shades and I've been using them as well, but I use them in a different way. Uh, because of my skin tone and the shades of these, we have Bronze Beam and Gilded Rose. But because these are a little bit more on the darker side for me and my complexion, I do love wearing these under my foundation to give some extra radiance and glow. It is so pretty. But these are sold at Ulta and they're usually $25 each, but um, I just checked and they're on sale for about $12.50. So I don't know how much longer they'll be on sale, but they're about half off. So definitely if you're interested in these, go ahead and go to Ulta and pick up some while you can get them for a discount. All right, so that concludes today's video and wraps up my 2020 beauty favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for tuning back in and watching. Thank you so, so, so much for all of your support over this last year on YouTube as well. 
it means the world to me and I'm just really excited for all that's to come and appreciate you guys being here. So with all of that in mind, if you are new here, I definitely hope you'll stick around and stay. Don't forget to make sure you have all the details on how to enter the giveaway, which I shared earlier in the video. I'm so excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Can't wait to see your entries and I'll be looking forward to announcing some winners within the next week. But thank you guys again. Love you and until next time, 